Hello, my beautiful Tauruses. Welcome to your weekly love forecast horoscope for December 30th to January 5th. I want to thank you guys so much for liking, sharing, and subscribing, and thank you to my members. I really appreciate all of your support. And if you'd like a person with me, go to my website, jenniferwalkerzen.com, or check out the description box below. Um, so, and if you guys are a fan of the mysteries, yeah, check out my other channel. Definitely, I did a reading on John Benet Ramsey. Um, I've done a reading on uh, the Black Dahlia. Uh, done a reading on Natalie Wood and I have a lot more interesting readings coming up I have multiple readings on there even the paranormal stuff uh, I'm going to be bringing up and uh, doing in the, in the month of January and going on going further I'm definitely going to produce a lot more for that channel so anyway so stay tuned for that I look forward to seeing you guys over there as well so we're going to be looking at your day today your love interest feelings the block delays and challenges and the overall outcome and if you guys like it this way you want me to continue this way hit that like button let me know in the comments below you can do both let's jump right in all right so what is going to happen for my fourth is romantic love life December 30th to June Je I thought I'd say June January 5th show me the cards you need to see Show me the cards I need to see. It's just really adjusting to the new space here that I got. All right, we got the Queen of Cups. We got the Eight of Swords. We have the Ten of Swords. And why does the camera want to keep coming in out of focus? We have the Three of Wands. Let's see, if we put that there like that, maybe that'll help a little bit better. There we go. Um, we have the Ace of Pentacles. We have the Ace of Cups, and we have the King of Pentacles. We also have the Star Card Energy, the Four of Swords, we have the Five of Wands. The blockage seems to be the Four of Pentacles, so for me, it shows me that there's a situation where someone wants to hold on to someone here. They want to hold on to someone, they want to save someone, they want to keep them close to them. Or there could be a lack of forgiveness as well with the Four of Pentacles energy. Let's keep going here. We see the Seven of Swords energy for the overall. The Knight of Pentacles going on. And the Two of Pentacles happening here. The overall energy is Six of Wands showing me that somebody wants to get your attention. There seems to be some kind of stuck energy here because of communication. Someone's stuck, they're stagnant, they need to make a sacrifice, and then all, all of a sudden some communication comes in. Uh, because of wanting to make some kind of power move, because of worries and concerns about um, trying to find that confidence and courage, it's like they drive forward anyway. So let's first of all find out why this Four of Pentacles is here for the blockage. So why is the Four of Pentacles here for the blockage? Why is the Four of Pentacles here for the blockage? Why is the Four of Pentacles here for the blockage? Why is the Four of Pentacles here for the blockage? Show me the cards I need to see. Show me the cards I need to see. So let's see what that's about. Okay, so there is some issues here. We got snake card energy. All right, so we're, I'm using the gypsy, this gypsy here. And I would say there's a wild card involved with this situation. Um, uh, the bear talks about some kind of speculations. All right. So we see there's some issues, a wild card, and some kind of speculations here. Something's going to happen all of a sudden. Uh, some kind of situation happens, uh, brought, is brought up all of a sudden around an opportunity. And we see that there is a love situation happening here. Okay, so it looks to me that there are some, well, the snake card, the snake card for me represents like the devil card energy, some kind of strong desires, obsessions, okay? Uh, it looks like some issue is gonna come up all of a sudden, uh, and it's a love situation. Okay, so we see that the, and potential signs involved in the situation, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces energy, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn energy. They don't have to be, but that's the signs I'm seeing here. And this is gonna be for December 30th, 31st, January 1st, 2nd, 3rd, 4th, and 5th. So guys, feel free, come back, check this out. 
Let me know how this plays out in your individual situations in the comments below. And if you're confused about this, don't worry, stick with me till the end. I will go over the overall energy and make it very clear cut for you guys, okay? So there's no confusions here. All right, so first of all, we see that the Queen of Cups is here. So the Queen of Cups for me on the 30th, it shows me a contemplation about emotions or you guys get some kind of advice about, about love, okay? So let's get more information here. What's gonna happen for my Taurus's romantic love life? December 30th to January 5th? Show me the cards I need to see. Show me the cards I need to see. All right, so it looks like there is some kind of communication coming in, okay? And this communication makes you feel like I really need to be patient with myself and really figure this out emotionally. Okay, do I want love and devotion in this situation? Okay, because you're receiving some kind of communication here. Okay, some kind of text message, letter, document. Okay. And that is going to be on the 30th. What's well, my Taurus is romantic love life for December 30th to January 5th? Show my cards I need to see. Show me the cards I need to see. Yeah, so that's exactly why you get advice or you have a lot of contemplation here because you've got to make some decision. So it looks to me like you're in this situation where like my hands are tied. What am I going to do about this? I'm trapped in my thoughts here on the 31st. And you're like, I'm just going to focus on work. Or you're trapped because you have to deal with something to do with work. Um, or you're concerned that maybe they're not telling you the truth about the fact that they're at work. Okay. For some of you guys. But it does look like on the 1st of, of uh, January here, you'll be ending a tough cycle, all right? That's over with. And abundance is coming in because we see wins lots. Uh, and it looks like you may receive a lot of apologies here from your person, okay? So then a situation that you've been waiting for, okay, on the second, it looks like uh, something you've been waiting for is gonna come in. And it's, it was a situation where there was this isolation or separation that was going on when it came to a commitment engagement or marriage. And we see there's a huge offer being presented, Ace of Pentacles energy. Uh, pentacles have to do with money, family, children, long-term. So let's see what that's about. An offer to travel to someone, it looks like, or, yeah, or they're gonna travel to you. You're at a little bit of a crossroads. You're like, what do I do here? I gotta make a decision. And also the next day, it looks to me like there is going to be this, this true love connection or an offer of love here with the Ace of Cups energy, some kind of potential for love here. Definitely has, um, it's overwhelming uh, with emotions, but it's interesting because also the bird has a pentacle or more or less it looks like a pentacle to me uh, in its mouth. I know that's, it's not representing that. It's a spiritual sign there. Um, but it's like, um, I get the sense that you're like, okay, I don't want to get caught up in these emotions at this time, so let me just see what that's about. So there's this, this debate argument going on about offering love, Ace of Cups energy, and wanting some kind of control around the situation. So be careful about this day, okay? We see the King of Pentacles coming out for the final day here on the 5th. So I get the sense that you're like, okay, you know what? I'm gonna look ahead to the future. And I, and, or someone sees you as like, okay, Taurus, I get the sense that you are the best decision for me when it comes to long-term. And it looks like they want to give to the energy here or they're, you're gonna receive something from this person, which is gonna give you a knowledge of this book card energy. Or you need to uh, get some kind of knowledge about what to do here in making this choice. So let's talk about it. Let's bring it together as a whole picture here. So you're going to have to make a decision this week. Uh, there was something that was hidden or kept from you. And then we, you got an apology uh, when it came to this commitment engage your marriage. There were some indecisions or crossroads you guys are at because of control. And it looks like you're listening to your intuition or you're concerned about something that's secret or some unknown here with the book card energy. So let's keep going. And let's look also at the bottom of the deck over here. Okay, 
a lot of soul searching going on here. The timing is right. I miss you. And all of a sudden, you realizing, okay, this is, or they're realizing you're the best decision for me. There's a nurturing supportive energy and a resolving of family conflict towards a relationship, but really cautious and defensive because of friends or a friendship uh, or some advice from friends, but trying to be hopeful of a positive outcome and making the effort. Okay. So you're receiving communication while you're at work. Um, it seems like there is an abundance of energy coming in. We see that there was this isolation or separation, but now there's this travel movement or change and this argument or fight about receiving a gift. Okay. Or possibly receiving money to travel. Okay. So a uh, strong contemplation about emotions happening this week. It seems like um, there is this issue about my back's against the wall, my hands are tied. I'm ready to overcome this hurt and pain, this tough cycle is over. It's something you've been waiting for. There's this huge offer, this huge potential and love, Ace of Cups energy. And it's, all right, I gotta make a, the best decision on the long term, King of Pentacles energy. So let's see what's going on with your love interest feelings. Okay, so. Your love interest feels that there is a spiritual connection here with the star card energy. They're thinking about you. They're concerned about some kind of argument or fight or competition. Your person is thinking about you and they're hopeful because of some kind of distance far away or it's been a long time. They want to offer you something here. They are obsessed here with the connection and they have strong chemistry and passion for you with the, um, they may even want to have passion exercises with you. Okay. They may be obsessively thinking about that. <laughs> okay. Let's, um, let's take a look at the blockage here. All right. Blockage is four pentacles. So let's talk about it. Something to do with receiving some kind of money or a positive turn of events. All right. And there is an opportunity being presented here, key card energy. So somebody wants you to say yes to them. They're presenting an opportunity to you. You don't know if you want to hold on to the situation. You're receiving something that was unexpected about this situation. So this card is like when you receive some kind of extra bonus, okay? Uh, you're concerned that maybe it's not as a big of an offer that you thought, or someone's giving you some kind of money here because it did look like there was money or some kind of debate about travel, arguing, fighting, or debating about traveling towards someone, so I, and, and, a, and a gift. It's like, uh, I, I get the sense that your person wants to give you money to travel towards them, or you wanted to give them money because there was some kind of isolation or separation between you guys. And so that's what the blockage is this week. Okay, so, so let's see. Seven of Swords now is the overall energy. There is concern that somebody wasn't telling the truth or they were hiding some thoughts from the other person. So it made the other person debate and overanalyze it and slow walk with the Knight of Pentacles energy. And it looks like it's like I got to make some kind of heavy choice about this situation. Or I got to do some juggling here. So there was uh, this waiting here happening or there's going to be some waiting happening here, which caused someone to feel very sad because it was like, why are you taking so long? What's going on here? What have you told me about? But then uh, there is some juggling that happens to get your attention because we did see there was an apology that comes in. There's stress and anxiety about some deceptions. In this waiting, okay? And there was, there's going to be a lot of overanalyzing about this uncertainty because it looks like there were some delays in talking to someone here, this other person here. And we see there's going to be some juggling about uh, an offer of new love now uh, or uh, of true love, Ace of Cups energy. So what I saw this week, it seems like there was two offers coming in. Now they could be the same person, but there was a it was like a potential long-term commitment offer, Ace of Pentacles, but there's also this opportunity for true love, Ace of Cups energy. And it looks like there's some analyzing going on about, hmm, what do I want to do here? Uh, I want to take an action here, 
but I'm going to have to weigh my decisions. I got to make a choice here. And, uh, and there's some waiting around and there was uh, the person's like concern. You're lying to me. You're stressing me out. You're not telling me something here. And I'm really sad about this. Why aren't you calling me back? Why is there delays around this situation? So it looks like you have to make some kind of heavy decision here about two offers. Okay. So we see there's stress in this patient energy because of delays and challenges because of there is a realization that, that there's true love with someone here with the ace of cups energy. We see that there is this positive sign that you find in this new situation. And so you're kind of like, well, I need to slow things down. We have the restrictions, the boundaries here. Going further. A secret, trying to gain knowledge here because you're shocked and surprised about the fact that, that there's this choice that has to be made here. So let's bring it together. I like to be clear cut. Okay, so what happened here is it seems like you were dealing with a particular person, okay, a person already, um, and it's it's moving into a, a, a certain direction, and um, you know you've been contemplating this situation. There has been some delays around this or challenges around this, possibly because this person's far away. Uh, it does look like they are offering you something, Ace of Pentacles energy, possibly to move closer to them or they want to move closer to you. Uh, there are some arguments or fights going on with this particular person, but there's also a new person coming in, which you had a shock and surprise because actually there is this real deep love connection here with the Ace of Cups energy. And it looks like you need to make a, a, a choice between the two. It seems like the week of the choices. Uh, so. So it looks like you're you're rather shocked and surprised because it seems like you almost get a spiritual sign about this one particular person. It looks like the new person. Okay, so so you're a bit confused about what to do. We see there's a communication coming in and a sense of happiness here. We see a solid foundation for Wands energy and ending a, a situation for a new beginning, but very cautious and defensive about it. We see a house and family and a lot of worries and concerns about ending the situation. So you already have, a, it looks like an established situation. Or for some of you, I can see it another way as well, that your person may be in a marriage and they're ending that marriage to be with you. There's a little bit of cautious, defensive energy around this, okay? There was a lot of spiritual signs, a lot of true love and an opportunity or offer here being presented. But there may be arguments or fights because there, there's a delay around this situation, okay? All right, my beautiful Tauruses, I love you guys so much. If you guys like it this way, you want me to continue this way, hit that like button. Let me know in the comments below. Also, let me know if you claim this reading. I do read my comments, guys, so I love hearing from you. Um, I will see you guys another day or two. There's multiple readings you guys to go check out right now. I love you guys so much. I just posted the 2023 uh, year ahead reading, so I'll give you a little bit of a preview and overview of what's going to happen. And I will be releasing after the weeklies, I'll be working on the uh, January reads. So you'll be able to get more specifics into love and career and finance. All right, my darlings, I love you guys so much and I will see you guys soon.